Hey, what's up, dudes and dudettes? Uh, this is Stars Are Our Souls, back again, um, with part two of Dinosaurs Don't Exist. Now, before I get into that, I was watching a video uh, by a guy named Learn of the Jesuit Order. Uh, one of my favorite guys on YouTube, um, he really pulls out some good shit, and I followed up with my own research, but he really pointed this out, so credit to him. But there's some funny-ass shit right here. Now, this guy named Michael John Smith, right, was an astronaut who supposedly died in the shuttle Challenger, which was destroyed, and you see here all seven crew members died, right? So now here's a guy, he's supposedly dead at the age of 40, right? And take a good look at this dude, right? You see him? Now, if you go over here and do a Google search of Michael J. Smith, right, the motherfucker's right here. He's right here, man. Okay, and they compare the faces. It's kind of like Google did it on purpose and put them right next to each other. If you look at his face, see, even here, Michael J. Smith, they didn't even bother changing his name. He's a co college of engineer. He's an engineer, right? And look at the eyebrows. Look at the eyes and look at the, the cheek on his left side and look at his right side. He has a distinct two marks right here on his right side of his cheek. You go over here, you see the same thing. And, and you'll notice you got to pay attention to the little details, right? He's much older in this picture here. But <clears throat> if you look, this is the same fucking dude. What the fuck is going on here? So they, now if you click here, College of Engineering, Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin. The dude is still fucking alive, man. So they didn't even bother to change his name. They don't even... They figure you're so stupid that you're not even going to realize it. That is fucking pathetic, man. All right. Well, I just wanted to quickly deal with that. All right. Now we're going to get on to this. Today we had a telegraph where it says, Giant walking crocodile terrorized the earth before dinosaurs. Okay. So now, supposedly... Every day they come out with some new shit. Uh, now a giant walking and talking lizard was going around scaring the hell out of people, right? So we don't have to worry about Bin Laden now. We got to worry about a giant lizard. They might may come back from the deep. They might clone it, okay? And now it'll come back. And now this is by Sarah Knapp, which I, she's publishing this bullshit. I don't know how much she gets paid to publish bullshit. I mean, that's her job. She graduated to college to publish bullshit. All right, whatever. All right, so now here's the planet series, Dwarf Planet. And this is going to be in my series, uh, Planets Don't Exist Part 2. But I'm using this as an example because here's a planet that they just up one day said doesn't exist. Okay. They said, yeah, you know, um, fucking this planet series, it was between, it lies between Mars and Jupiter. And then one day they just woke up and said, guess what? It doesn't exist anymore. Everyone go back to sleep, right? So everybody just go back, forget about what we said, all of this research, the fucking planet doesn't exist. Or they call it a dwarf planet, right? So anytime they want to get a planet, you know, remove it from the textbooks, they just say it's a dwarf planet. So, and you people believe this shit. All right, anyways. So using that as an example, whatever happened to the fucking Brontosaurus? That was like... The big friendly fucking dinosaur that went around just hugging and loving people. Remember Jurassic Park? It was like the friendly dinosaur, right? Well, here, the fucking Brontosaurus is no longer, now is no longer a fucking dinosaur. It doesn't exist anymore. They totally erased it from the textbooks, changed the name, and here you can read this article by Huffington Post, and it says, Brontosaurus, not real. Dino is actually Aposaurus, and, uh, other misconceptions continue. If you just research about the Brontosaurus, the fucking thing doesn't exist anymore. The whole, I mean, they just erased it from every museum. Now, what kind of shit is that? I mean, see, this is why I don't follow any book. I don't follow, I, I read all ancient texts. I read the Bible, the Quran, I read it all. The book, the um, coffin text, the pyramid text, I read all of it. I don't, because I think all of them have elements of truth, but I don't get caught up in one single thing. I don't follow anybody besides myself, okay, because people are so full of shit, okay, so, 
let's move forward. All right, so now, uh, how are mountains made, right? So here we have a timeline video. This video is full of shit. I mean, you guys can watch it yourself because you'll never see stars on the horizon like this. Total full of shit. But it says, many mountains are formed as a result of Earth's tectonic plates smashing together. Okay, now keep that in mind. Smashing together, right? Which is bullshit. The Earth is actually splitting apart. And I'm going to have to dedicate one entire video to this subject alone because it's a lot to talk about. And I can't cram it all in and make sense out of it. But it's really common sense. There's nothing mythological about it. There's nothing, you know, you don't have to go to school to figure this shit out. It's really simple. You can see Brazil fits right into Africa, right? So there is some sort of pulling and stretching going on. Pangea has some elements of truth. But the geologists look at it from a ball earth perspective. So, and they say all the continents were on one side of the ball. It just looks ridiculous, right? Um, you know, so it's just like, let's take a look real quick. Pangea, right? So we'll take a look at Pangea, and this is the bullshit, right? So this is uh, this is where all the planets are supposed to be on one side of the planet. And if you look at this, right, take a good look. You can see a mouth, a nose, and a small head. Like, it's almost like they're kind of making fun of the whole fucking thing. Like, you can look right here. It's like a fucking face. Like, this is ridiculous, man. Like, whatever. All right, so moving forward. Let's take a look at what happens when when things melt at a really fast rate. This is a time-lapse video of a candle. Let's look. Now, you see it dripping? See it falling? And as it falls, when it cools down, it turns a solid. And this one, oh, let's pause it. See how that's still poking up there? Because it, it cooled down before it had time to fall. So when we look at these caves here, we can see that these, these uh, I forgot what you call them. There, there's a name for it. The name doesn't matter. But when you see these things here, they melt it in a, in a, in a form. But before they can fall totally to the ground, it hardened up. They, they're going to tell you that water created all of this. Water over millions of years carved the rock out to look like this. That's complete bullshit. This right here is from melted lava. The earth moved. There were, these these caves were created at, in within days, maybe within minutes. And when the, when the space created, a lot of the lava dripped, melted the rock, and the, it cooled down before it had time to actually settle. So this is what you're looking at here. So all of this is sudden. This is fast. This all stuff, all of this happened really, really quick. You can see right here. All of this happened really, really quick. This is not something that took millions and billions of years. You can see right here, just like we looked at the candle, this all happened real sudden. And then perhaps water came through and cooled it down. Who knows? But the bottom line is this shit did not take billions and billions of years. So you're being lied to. All right, now. Evolution. They're telling us about evolution, that we came from monkey and we evolved all the way up into modern man. So now we're at the pinnacle of human intelligence. You know, soon we're going to have flying fucking hotels in space and we're, we're on our way, right? Now, and they also say it all came out of East Africa, right? Which Charles Darwin, by the way, was a white supremacist. He had very white supremacist ideologies, okay? And I'm going to deal with that later, but... Um, and there's no such thing as race. That's another thing I'm going to deal with because when you call somebody black, they're not actually black. They're dark brown. They shade from dark brown to light brown. And then when you call someone white or who will be considered a Caucasian or European, they're not actually white. Okay, so we're going to deal with that later. But Charles Darwin said that all life started in Africa and they came from monkeys, chimps, and they evolved upwards, right? To now what we took, the, the, the smartest and greatest of all human existence, right? Modern man. Bullshit, right? So now if you look at this monkey, this chimp right here, you can see it has, now see, when Charles Darwin went to, that, went to Africa and he looked, and this is what I suspect, he looked at some of the monkeys and some of the monkeys had similar characteristics to people who lived in that region right? Because the sun is beaming down, right? So, you know, they had the, the flat noses, the, the, the wide nostrils, uh, and the thick lips, and, you know, in the brown eyes, the brown skin, right? So this is why they show them as going from being brown to what we now call so-called white or Caucasian, right? 
But let's take a really good look at this, because they say life started in Africa, but how do we know, right? Now, here's a monkey that has similar characteristics of somebody who you would consider Caucasian. They have the very, in fact, let's get a better look. Let's see right here. This monkey, right, which is found in northern, in certain parts of the north, right, has the long alpine features, the pointed noses, the light, the blonde hair, and the light eyes, and the light skin. Okay, you can see that. You can see that, like right here. This doesn't look like somebody who you would consider be to be African, or somebody or a monkey like this. Now, are we to say that Caucasian people came from monkeys? Are they teaching this in the universities? Are they teaching this in Harvard or Princeton or Yale or 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 MI or MIT or whatever these colleges? Are they teaching any of that? No, they're teaching that. It started in Africa. You had these African people, then they became Neanderthals, which, by the way, that Neanderthals never existed. So it's a very dehumanizing theory and ideology and philosophy that they pin on not just Africans or not just people of brown complexion, but they also pin on, on people of Caucasian descent because they're telling you you came from a, a knuckle-dragging Neanderthal. Complete bogus bullshit, and I'm going to dedicate a whole video to that. So now, after 4 billion years of evolution, right, we've evolved to this shit, okay? So, I mean, you would think we'd be on other planets by now, right? But we evolved to fucking this, or to this shit, right? This is the pinnacle of human evolution, right? Or this, a whole bunch of people waiting to eat fucking poison and take their vaccines, right? Which vaccines are totally linked to autism, and I already proved that. So this is the pinnacle of human evolution. Four billion years, this is as far as we've gotten. It's a fucking joke, man. Right? It's a fucking joke. So, and then they say that all of the life on planet Earth, including dinosaurs, came from a single cell. Like, it looks like a damn, I don't know, a single cell organism. A little bacteria that we all just floating in the bottom of the ocean just all evolved and you end up with insects, raccoons, fucking horses. But mind you, where are the in-between species? Where are the species, like, okay, let's say, for example, a mouse and a lizard. Where is the input, where are the, the, the input, it should be a gradual. Why is it this um, distinct, uh, uh, you know, different kinds? Like, uh, there's plenty of public speakers that talk about that, uh, but, I mean, it's just common sense, you know, where the, where the only, look at this shit, okay, so the planet was hot, some single cell organisms, and it all evolved up into this scientist, right, they don't show you the bad, the negative shit. It don't show you all the stupid shit we're doing. You can turn on the news on any given Sunday and see all the dumb shit that we're doing. Okay, so let's move down here, right? Now, here's a little drawing, right? So we have this lady here, right? So supposedly a gorilla <laughs> evolved into this, this walking, talking monkey, right? And then evolved into this lady. Where is the where is this monkey here? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where is this monkey at? I mean, do, are you going to tell me that Sasquatch is the missing link between the monkey and the and the person? No. See, so and and then this dinosaur just totally vanished off the the brontosaurus just totally vanished off the face of the earth. No longer museum museums. Totally gone. So again, man. You guys got to wake the hell up, man, because, I mean, you're being lied to like there's no tomorrow. It, it's really sad. It really is. So this, you know, it's time for us to wake up and, and, and really start thinking for ourselves. It's really simple. There's nothing really hard to do. Just start questioning everything. But this whole quest to, to take the creator out of the picture, out of the equation, and say that there's no creator there's no, uh, you know, you know, everything is just random. That's evil to teach to children that that they're just some random fucking speck of dust that means absolutely nothing. Again, you know, that's I just want to deal with that. I'm gonna cover some other topics, but um, 
You guys have a good one. Peace, blessings, whole tip. Asalaamu Alaikum.